Some of the Sedgwick County Zoo's most popular attractions are now off limits, temporarily at least, due to bird flu precautions. A disease spreading from migrating waterfowl to hens and turkeys on farms. Kate on your side's Chris Frank says the zoo is now segregating birds for their own protection. Zoo visitors have been asking, where have all the flamingos and other exotic birds gone? Well, here are the flamingos. They're just being segregated right now to protect against avian flu. Where are the flamingos? It's a common question of late. Parents are hearing from children like nine-year-old Xavier Zamora. Um, because of avian influenza, we have moved the flamingos and some other birds off exhibit to protect them. Signs are posted at the exhibits giving the explanation. And we want to make sure our birds stay safe. Nearly 30 million chickens and turkeys have been destroyed because of the outbreak in the Midwest, primarily along the Mississippi migratory track. The zoo's Asian forest is temporarily closed for the same reason. Visitors aren't seeing flamingos, white storks, cranes, and other exotic birds in their usual settings. We became very concerned when avian influenza was first found in the Midwest. And since the virus is spread by wild migrating waterfowl, we thought our first um, priority would be to protect our zoo birds from wild birds. She says it's not certain how susceptible the exotic birds are to this avian flu strain. Any type of duck and waterfowl, they may be the ones that are more affected by the virus and could become sick and die. She says perhaps the birds can be reintegrated in a matter of weeks. There's still no timetable when these exotic birds will be reintegrated into their usual exhibits. The assumption is when the threat of avian influenza is over. At the Sedgwick County Zoo, Chris Frank, Cake News. And there have been seven new outbreaks of avian flu in the U.S. poultry, affecting almost 30 million birds. The outbreaks first reported in March have affected 13 states, but no official outbreaks yet in our state.